so I'm one of the uh, editors of Polana, which is a digital library uh, and was created uh, to share uh, national libraries' content. Uh, at the beginning, was, uh, uh, that was the uh, only collection from uh, national treasury, but then uh, we decided to make some more. So, um, uh, so that those who are genuinely in possession of uh, national heritage could, could now explore uh, themselves uh, without any limits and freely, because it's, uh, it's free. Uh, open digital resources provided by Polona uh, gathered a collectivity of internet users uh, that uh, were uh, about to explore, reuse, and uh, creatively um, reuse that, that data that is presented. Uh, and uh, it, that Polona is uh, being designed as a one page application. It's, uh, this is the main page. And this is how it would look like uh, in, uh, in a few months uh, in the autumn. We'll be presented a new version of Polona. And it is uh, directly connected with the national uh, libraries uh, repositories and digitalization, digitalization software that lets us scan and share up uh, to several dozen of scans per day. Um, and the main page, uh, which is here, uh, is a quick presentation of the most valuable and most interesting objects that are um, sh uh, that are shared by Polona. Uh, in that library section, which is uh, here, um, uh, there is presented uh, 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 the collection is presented uh, in the form of a board. So this is like uh, Pinterest, uh, and here you can start your research. Uh, by typing a word, keyword, that, um, or by choosing among those categories. So these are books, uh, newspapers, uh, maps and atlases, um, leaflets, postcards, uh, drawings, and uh, um, music notes. So. Uh, uh, you, as you proceed in your research, uh, Polona offers you a range of tools. Uh, this is how it looks like. And these are, um, uh, these are uh, uh, such tools as, uh, uh, for example, pinning a note. Um, um, and uh, um, downloading high uh, quality JPEG, JPEG and PDF files. Um, you can also, uh, when you pin a, f uh, a pin, pin an information, you can also add a, uh, a, a notes, just uh, um, in case you would like to uh, go back to that, uh, what you are looking at. So uh, you can add your, uh, yeah, add, add, add uh, objects to your favorites. And, and then um, watch it more than once. So while promoting uh, Polana's resources, we got a chance to establish direct contact with uh, some academics and uh, young professionals, uh, as well as advanced internet users. Um, and it was um, very helping. Uh, that helped us mainly understand better the needs, but also among those professionals there were such as, uh, for example, Professor Magdalena Dervojedova from University of Warsaw, that um, were doing a project which is called Automatic Analy Analysis of the Polish Language Inflectional in 19th Century. And that helped us uh, directly by provi providing Polona with some significant tools. Uh, automatic analysis is, um, has two main objectives. The first one is to make description of the system changes in terms of the variety of written Polish in the years 1830 to 1918. And the second one is to create um, an inflection dictionary of Polish language showing the evolution of the declension. The second goal uh, involves uh, creating um, a um, an electric, electronic, electronic grammar dictionary, and that this dictionary will be the basis of morphological analyzer 
which includes, in addition to operating parties, also existing paradigms functioning in that mentioned period. Uh, so the samples or the texts uh, included uh, in the corpus of Polish will be enriched with the keywords from the dictionary of Warsaw and listed in the basic lexicon analyzer, which is, uh, uh, which is the Polish uh, grammar dictionary. So that will be Polish grammar dictionary in the dictionary of Warsaw. And that result, um, result of that research will be used for automatic correction of optical character um, recognition of 18th and 19th century uh, literature is uh, story on Polona um, that open digital, digital resources um, well, uh, speaking, uh, uh, speaking about that OCR um, we use uh, Abbey recognition server that provides server-based OCR functionality for automatic capture and converting papers, as well as uh, PDF and uh, JPEG uh, um, image documents into electric, uh, into electronic files suitable for full text search and long-term digital archiving. Uh, it automatically acquires images from scanners, performs server-side OCR and enables the addition of metadata. Um, we use also DocWorks that masters OCR and natural handwriting recognition solutions to convert and extract data and archive the original document electronically. Um, by the end of the year, we would like to um, introduce a system of for segmentation uh, for a text segmentation used to segment books which can be automatically uh, implemented to another um, objects with uh, simultaneous drawing metadata. And tests will be managed uh, by, the, by the end of that year. Um, we hope that uh, at the beginning of 2016 that will, that will work. Um, using an application, uh, our user could, uh, users could identify um, uh, pictures that are inside texts and uh, make notes uh, above. Uh, so, uh, so it would be, it it, it could be found by that uh, main browser, uh, search browser, which is not possible now because we can't see what what is uh, what is inside the text. Uh, we would like to encompass. Uh, um, we would like to provide um, um, communities that are gathered uh, um, in Polona um, to make uh, their work easier and more effective. So uh, we need some tools uh, to do that. And now our fundamental aim becomes uh, disseminating and popularizing resources available in various Polish archives. Um, so we would like to collaborate with uh, institutions that are keen on doing this, uh, that are keen on using our, our work, our solutions. Um, our digital repository, which is servers, disk arrays, but also an effective data backup mechanism, is open to culture institutions that are not able to hold their own repositories. And these objectives led us to create a new tool, which is building your own, uh, this is a, a high magnification of a, and this making notes that were, I was talking about. And these are uh, collections that you can uh, do inside Polana. Um, and so uh, all readers will be given a possibility of rating um, and commenting on those uh, collections. Uh, which would give us subsequently um, a possibility of rating uh, those uh, um, uh, to promote those who are top, top rated, which are top rated. Um, so Polona, uh, we would like to make Polona a platform of um, communication, um, which uh, for us is a proposal for for a next step in libraries development. We hope that it will go well. This is how, how you create a 
collection, by adding objects to a collection. Okay, yeah, and it's all. <laughs> Okay, this is the end of the presentation, right? Uh, I'm sorry? Is this the end of your presentation? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, any, any questions before the coffee break? Um, hi, uh, do you plan to, to link any of these resources that are within the, the Polish Library to other resources? that belong to other data sets, as in, I don't know, link data, or uh, the Rubiana project, for instance, has a uh, whole lot of images that could be repeated or could be related to many of the searches that you have in your own repository? Yes, it, it can be related. It depends on, uh, on the cooperation with those institutions that would like to do it. So if they want, uh, we can do it easily.